Hey everyone, so I'm back with another episode of the Sent Me Current Event series. There's been a ton of major events occurring within the markets that have caused a lot of turbulence over the past few months. The pandemic, geopolitical issues, supply chain disruptions, inflation, and now rising interest rates are just a few of the pressing issues that have caused the entire global economy to experience major shocks. So today I wanted to discuss what this rising interest rate environment means for the market and why the entire stock market has reacted negatively. So if you're not familiar with the Federal Reserve Bank, this institution is responsible for driving the monetary policy within the United States. And because the United States financial system has a major effect on the entire global financial system, this means the Federal Reserve's policies come with major consequences. Over the past few years, the Federal Reserve printed trillions of dollars during the height of the pandemic to keep the financial markets intact. Some would say the government printed too much money and others would say that they didn't print enough. But the main thing to understand is that the Federal Reserve was doing what they believed to be appropriate at that time. When the Fed prints money and increases the supply of dollars circulating within the financial system, this in turn decreases interest rates. When interest rates are low, this is supposed to stimulate the economy to promote spending. When rates are low, people buy houses, cars, and other products because the cost of borrowing capital is super low. However, there comes a time when the spending needs to slow down, particularly when the price of goods are rising at a rapid rate. When there is extensive spending and high periods of increasing costs of goods, this leads to an inflationary environment. This is exactly what ended up happening over the past few months. In order to combat this inflationary environment, the Federal Reserve has decided to drastically increase interest rates and there are no signs of them slowing down. Jerome Powell, who is the head of the Federal Reserve, has acknowledged that he is willing to increase rates as high as possible in order to lower inflation. The issue is when rates are increased at such a rapid rate, there is a high risk of an economic recession. Rate increases are supposed to slow down spending and consumption. The cost of borrowing capital is now higher and both consumers as well as companies must prioritize spending during these types of situations. Because of the issues I outlined earlier, we are definitely on the brink of a recession because the economy has experienced consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. It is very hard to know when the market will bottom out, but it's clear that this inflation issue must be addressed by the Fed. Time will tell how long this recessionary period lasts, but it is important to stay updated on these types of events because they impact all of us. So I hope you found this segment of the Sent Me Current Event series helpful, and be sure to stay tuned for more content coming soon. Thanks.